Welcome back to Dainai Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3. On the last episode, we took a page out of Teach's book and became teachers ourselves. We had a quiz show, we we pounded some people into the dirt, poor greenies, the newbies, the greenhorns. Uh, they're really young, we beat them into the dirt, they acknowledged our strength and gave us fancy titles. On this episode, we are going to help Colony Gamma's offseer. She had a problem. She requested Noah's help. And we are off to, uh, apparently, a place called Cooley Pool. Um, it's on the way to wherever Teach had us. Cooley Pool Camp. All right, yeah. We can just we can just hop, skip, and a jump right over the camp. And uh, we can meet Schoon right over there. It's not far away at all. Yeah, apparently, her problem is that she feels that something's missing from her off-seeing style. She's playing the flute. But she feels like something's missing, and so, of course, in her wisdom, she sought the help of our lovely offseer teacher from Keves and Noah. And here we are. We are absolutely going to help her out. Good old Cooley Pool. Now that Colony Gamma has been liberated from its flame clock, you no longer need to fight for its sake. But I think the work of us offseers do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Language, it has escaped me. Congratulations, you've seen it firsthand. But I think the work us offseers do will remain unchanged no matter what. Hmm. Based on these red motes, I can imagine that there is. Much off-seeing to do in the area. A battle must have been fought up here at some point. We can't leave it like this. Husks. Let's send them off together. I wonder, what were these people thinking when they realized they were dying? I wonder if they wanted to carry on living, or if they were relieved that it meant they didn't have to fight anymore. It might be neither of those things. Could be something completely different. I feel like... I feel like I have no idea what to do. I want to empathize with them, but it feels like my melody just rings hollow. The more people I send off, the emptier I feel inside. If it's how you feel, then it's how you feel. No one can argue with that. I'm so sorry. I feel like I barely understand anything at all. Schoon. It's alright. We'll take it slow. If you feel anything else, at any point, just let me know, okay? Okay. There are more moats in various places, so. It's an unfortunate job, but it's one that has to be done for the peace of mind of the living and for the dead. I imagine they would, uh, they would like knowing that they were sent off. It always used to feel like a proper send-off before. I never had doubts like this when Mickline was still around. Ah, right. Agni and Offseers play in pairs, don't they? Yes. Mickline was my partner. He went to fight in Alfetto Valley, though. And since then, he... Ah. I see. So I guess I'll have to be an Offseer on my own from now on. But just the thought of that makes my mind go blank. Like, I don't get what the point is of any of it. I never gave off seeing a proper thought to begin with. I just left it all to Mickclan to take care of. I don't know if this will alleviate your worries or not, but... How about rather than thinking about how you should send them off, you try to think about how you want to do it? How I want to do it? That's a big frown. Huh? You're thinking too hard. Oh, am I? Don't panic. We're in no hurry. 
Just do whatever you think is right. Unfortunately, there is no shortage of husks to send off. I see some relations have changed. Oh, we have to fight the stupid Rogels? Marosh Rogels. Something tells me we're not going to be able to get away with sneaking in and sending them off. Maybe if we're lucky. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Come on, get up there, Noah. Nope. Alright, well, these Rogels are just... They just exist to be a pain in the butt, so I'm going to poof us past them. Alright, now that the fighting is done, we are going to get this Ether Channel really quick. And, uh... And then we'll see these, uh... We'll see these guys off. We can't just leave this be. The lights float away. They overflow from the body like they've been set free from everything. It looks so beautiful. I want to help these beautiful lights. I want to lead their dance into the sky. Sparkling way up high. The melody you played with your partner was inside you all along. All that was left was to trust in yourself. I'm certain that's the key to unlocking your, your, your own unique way of off-seeing. Thank you so much, Noah. I'll, I'll always treasure what you said to me today. I must offer my apologies. What? I wanted to be there so I could make sure, if anything happened to Schoon, you couldn't get away with it, but... I see. So that's why you came. You're a good friend, Zuno. Not really. I just thought that if, so if Schoon got sad, Miklan wouldn't have wanted that, is all. Thank you, Zuno. What a successful little four-way, four-foray, four-ray into Cooley Pond. We helped an offseer get her groove back. Heck yes. See some relations have changed. A chance even more to help the people of Colony, Colony Gamma. And speaking of Colony Gamma, let us head back there and see one last time, hopefully, if there are any uh, last-minute teaching requests. Gamma is as vibrant as ever once again, thanks to you. We try. All the hard work was worth it to hear you say that, Commander. People really love Teach. Well, I don't blame them. He's a pretty cool dude. It looks like we don't have any teaching requests at the moment. Well, that is a very good thing indeed, because that means that we are done for in Colony Gamma for the moment. So, what the plan is right now is, I believe... Either way, this is going to be the last side quest oriented episode unless something like unbelievably massive and important comes up, but I don't see that happening. So, I am going to make a quick pit stop at colonies 9, 4, and 30 and get any last minute quests out of the way or any gossip or any discussions or stuff like that out of the way. So, I will see you guys if anything interesting happens. Oh. Welcome back. We are in Colony 30, and it looks like there is a lot of gossip to be had. So, let's let's just get this right over with, and let's get this going. Arun and her team haven't contact us, contacted us ever since they started their expedition into Danag Desert. Maybe they think we're still at war. 
an expeditionary mission. Apparently a team has gone uh, AWOL in the, in the desert. We're almost certainly going to be ha have to be the ones to find them. I've been hearing the Offseer's flute around the living quarters lately. Radex Offseer's successor shouldn't have been assigned yet, though. What's going on, I wonder? Colony 30's Offseer. Apparently, every single colony has problems with their Offseer in some capacity. Ven. Have you seen the third unit's Levnesses? They're late coming back, and I don't mind admitting that I'm worried. I warn them time and time again not to neglect their maintenance. Ugh, a rune. Snuff it. Could you go out and see what's what then? Then see what Yuza has to say about it? Yep, and there's the shoe has dropped. Go out and find them. But that is something we can easily do. I see some relations have changed. That Nopon, Nopon's flute playing is ear bleedingly bad. Ooh, harsh. Tell me about it. That was an Offseer's flute being paid, played, wasn't it? Why has a Nopon got something like that? So apparently, an Offseer has not officially been assigned, but a Nopon is uh, taking over the job anyway. Vi oh, more gossip. I thought we only had the two. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> that is, that is, that is the, uh, that's what this game is all about. You're, you're just traveling around, it's like, oh my gosh, more gossip. Please, give me a break. I asked that Nopon to fix the power frame. Where the snuff has it gone? You know Nopon loves to take long afternoon naps, right? Free Nopon. Please sense. don't have any more gossip. I can only take so much. But we might as well discuss it while all of this is fresh in our minds. Better make sure we're well rested. Yes, well rested. That's the... And of course, they're both quests. Well, free Nopon, because that's not a quest. The Nopon in Colony 30 sure seem to do whatever they please, huh? Taking five... Five after working... Taking five... Oh, taking five after working five, snoozing mid-shift, or just plain old wandering off. They could just give them dog tag, same as us. Manage their time that way. That would certainly have its benefits. You could monitor their comings and goings with much more accuracy. Friends must be joking. That would evaporate all motivation, like dew from Levness on warm morning. That right? Not on our free creatures, not slaves to core working hours and quotas and tracking lunch breaks. Oi, easy. Easy now, easy, I say. No need to get ticked off. It was all just hypothetical. At least the Nopon of Colony 9 are all seem pretty serious about stuff. Same for Gamma. Our guys and gals took their work more seriously than those in Colony 30. Think that's Valdi's fault, then? Hmm. May well be. Yeah, Valdi as the commander probably inspires... Questionable work ethics. Well, not questionable work ethics, this. but... Questionable scheduling of the work ethics. And, you know, speaking of the Nopon, there are a lot of them. We certainly don't have any colonies in Agnes with this many Nopon. Crazy. Oh yeah, talking of crazy, looks like someone weird was bound to show up among all those furballs. I think one of them is going around playing an Offseer's flute. Yeah, I heard that rumor too. But his playing kind, his playing's kind of crappy and it's cheesing everyone off. He's playing it around the colony. Could he be training? I think you might be right. A Nopon training to be an Offseer. I kind of want to meet this guy. Well, all right then, shall we drop by the Colony 30 Residential District? People have been hearing the flute coming from there quite often. Yeah, let's do it. Let's track this fluffy furball down and bleed him dry of all the information and motivation that he has. Sounds like contact with the Levness unit dispatched, in, in, dispatched by Colony 30 was lost in Danag Desert. Probably a rogue sandstorm. That's the unit Ven was worried about, right? Communications are often disrupted in Danag Desert. The sandstorms. They're quite... Exactly, Tyon. We're birds of a feather, even though neither of us are the one with the wings. Then maybe the people in that unit still think they need to fight. But we destroyed Colony 30's flame clock. Looks like they didn't get the message, love. 
Someone better tell them that they don't need to kill anymore. Looks like we'll have to meet them face to face. Or face the mask. If they're off in a desert, they're probably not bare-faced to the sandstorm. It would be not... It would be pretty stupid to go into a sandstorm without any protection like that. Either way, off to Danag Desert. Well, maybe. I might do... Because there were some other quests, admittedly, out there. You can see three question marks on the map. I know which, I know what one of them is, and we're not focusing on one of them. And there are two others, so I think, I think I might spend uh, the quick moment and get these quests. Not necessarily do them. We might, because there's this one here by the Silas Terrace camp, and there's one up here by the Namba Mound camp. So I think it would be interesting to do Namba Mound first, and then silas camp and we can get those and then and then next episode that'll probably give us enough time to do where is hmm. that'll probably give us enough time to do things for this episode and then next episode we can i believe there's one thing next left to do in lambda and then we'll do main story. Where are we going? It looks like we have to come up by the top. So we might have to walk all the way around, maybe? This is the the Idala Ravine. Um, I'm just going to skip ahead until I find out what how to, how to get up there. So I came by Raptor Perch. And I think Milio Tick trick caverns is the way up there if i'm mistaken well i'm just wasting everyone's time but i don't believe that that's incorrect either way we have something a mysterious door <laughs> it looks crazy unknown trick devices some doors are fitted with special trick locks and will only open if you can solve their puzzle. Use L and R to turn the left and right eyes. The objective of the puzzle is to get the red piece onto each of the green spaces. Well, I am a dab hand when it comes to puzzles, so we are absolutely going to, uh... Well, that was easy. Correctamundo! Apparently, they have automated these doors with the voices. Which is strange. I wonder what the purpose of these doors is. I have no idea. I have an idea, but you may or may not have an idea. And if that's the case, oh boy, are you in for a treat. Which is the right way? Okay, this is apparently its own map. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go this way. They might lead to the same place. The illusion of choice in video games. It looks like this is the right way, though. Oh, there was just an ether channel down the other way, so nothing to be overly concerned with. We'll send this husk off, and then... Oh, the gate closed. Does that mean I have to fight the arachnos? Oh, lovely arachnos. All right, pawn arachnos. All right, well, it's just two of them, and it's going to be real easy because they're like seven levels below us, so I'm just going to poof us right past them. All right, so we're back just wrapping up this Ouroboros chain attack because it was a it was a special enemy. I figured we have this chain attack. Let's get some let's get some super bonus EXP. Even though it's a bit low leveled for our for our level, I feel like it's worth it and since I'm cutting cutting it anyway. You guys don't have to worry about watching it either way, so we just get this free EXP. How much do we get? Apparently, we won't find out at this moment. Apparently, we're opening up the gates. Oh, that's a lot. That's a, that's a, that's a fair amount. I don't mind that in the slightest. So now we are back. We opened up our locked door. And hopefully, this leads us out to where that question mark was. This way, I... Mm, this way, I think. 
the wrong way, quote unquote. I'm 99% certain only has uh, ether channels. So unless you're really strapped for ether, it's not unbelievably important that you get them. And we are correct in doing the right door because this is a door with a lock. Give me my puzzle. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Boom. Correctamundo. Very easy to solve. No trouble whatsoever. Does this lead us to where I think it should lead us? Uh, we're not there yet. Sage's Garden. Well, there's a door over there. And apparently we are in some kind of open cavern. Can we open the door? Please let us open the door. We can open the door, oh my gosh. See, huh? Sage's Domicile, and yes, this is where I did want us to go. Yes, perfect, fantastic. I'm glad I figured this out. So we have some knob on. Seek, seek. Please to first speak with Master Berber. Seek, seek is only humble first secretary. Good to add more names. Okay. Berber. Meh, you there. Tell your thoughts. What thoughts? Thoughts from experiencing masterpieces of Berber. Do these masterpieces happen to be those huge puzzle devices that open the doors on the way here? Oh, so friends did enjoy. Did did you make it so people could enjoy it? Berber did do that. Berber want to share a moment of excite and delight with all peoples. Well, er, excitement is one word for it, I suppose. That most important thing. But Berber aware that this method unsatisfactory. Berber will give even more thrill and spill experience to thrill seeker friends. Berber has hidden up on coinage all over world, but now Berber want friends to find them and bring them back. Here is hint of hiding place. They are in mighty exciting places. Of course, Berber has also arranged reward system. First, bring 15 Nopon coins. Oh, not to forget, is coins of silver that Berber request. Thrill of the hunt. Well, I'm pretty sure we actually have 15 Nopon coins. So, Berber, I already have them. I have, yes indeed. Right now, wings of Berber all dirty. Nopon coins get covered in sand if touch. Friends should give Nopon coins to Seek Seek. Seek Seek will reward handsomely. Master Pond Berber brings Seek Seek up to date. First, Secretary Seek Seek taking over all Nopon coin received duties in place of very busy Master Pond. Friends know that Nopon coins come in gold and silver. Friends can exchange number of Nopon coins for reward. So then, Seek Seek has prepared reward for bring Nopon coins. So when ready, give Seek Seek shout. Berber. Berber is creator of works in many different regions of the world. Oh, so there's big devices we came across on the way here. Those were more... There are more of those around the place. Correct. Correct. Berber challenges friend to solve if found. Oh, I'm sure we will. Here are available rewards. Well, we can only get the shell necklace, but yes. This is uh, another use for the Nopon coins. You can um, trade them in for accessories of legendary quality. So they're the best that these versions of these items can be. So... Which do we want to get? Boosts recharge speed by 25% when in water. Boosts healing heart recharge speed when 20 by 25% when allies at low HP. Adds 10% chance to grant power charge when evading. Or boosts ally revival speed for each incapacitated rival. Ooh, I like emergency bandana. And even though it's 40 goins, I do think that's a good use for one of them right now. It's pleasure doing business with friends. Master Pawn exceed Master Pawn exceedingly happy since friends came. Before friends leave, please say hello to Master Pawn. Berber, once again, we're talking to you. Oh ho! Are friends having exciting adventures out in the world? I guess so. Oh ho ho! Berber glad to hear. Berber remember thrill of finding first knob on coin. Berber would not stop grinning for seven whole days. Berber want friends to feel same way. Berber hidden more Nopon coins than friends can count. Friends must search all Ionios with great excitement. Of course, rewards will keep on coming. 
What rewards, friend asked. Seek, seek. Tell, answer. Now please, to keep having more thrilling fun. What an easy quest to complete. And we got an accessory and four more Nopon coins. And this treasure chest. I wonder if there will be Nopon coins in here. Open the chest, Noah, please. There are Nopon coins. Would you look at that? Berber! I can't believe you, you hid so many Nopon coins in a chest right behind you. Either way, that was a quest. I'm glad we got that over with. We got a new location, the Sage's Domicile, so that's useful to have. That's the Nopon quest. I want to do this one really quick. It's right by the camp, so I believe it's another Nopon quest. This is where we camped out right after we got through um, the old can of Battleground before we headed into Orion. Aw, oh, these two! It's Doran and uh, Green Nopon. Bam Bam! Come on, Bam Bam, go take a look. Bam Bam, too scared. Hey, you're the one who's most annoyed by that noise. Doran noticed racket first. Hi, yeah, what are you doing? Aw, oh, nice, it's you guys. Good timing, mates. There's been this terrifying noise going on for a while now. And very petrifying. So now we're trying to decide whether we should go and see what's making it. Do you make all your decisions through fighting? Only the good ones. <laughs> the problem is, what if it's something awful? That would be awful. Certainly very awful. How Bam Bam and Doran continue peaceful travels in such state? To ashes with it all. Is this as, as free as we're ever going to be? Bam Bam not satisfied with that. Journey of Bam Bam only just beginning. I can't with these two. Hey, since it's so important to you, what if we go look for it? Would you? Would I? You do that for Bam Bam? Well, mainly more f more for Durin. Doran. We don't really care much. We don't speak about Bam Bam's pursuits. No, 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 I'm just joking. I'm just joking with you, Bam Bam. You're, I'm sure you're a stand-up guy. If all you want to know is what's making the noise, then it won't take long. Oh, I hope so. You're lifesavers. We totally owe you for this. You clearly old wing at traveling. Well, we're not going to get much done sitting around here. Let's head towards the source of the noise. Apparently, we're on a hunt for something unknown. Fear of the unknown. I see some relations have changed. That sound. Totutu. A, a, it's a Napon. Orion Tunnel's not only way to reach Pentalus region. Big road here connect to Orion Trail, which also lead there. Would advise much caution, though. That way, mo momentary hotbed of Agnes and Keves scuffling. Oh, it's apparently really close by, so hopefully... We can get this done. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. A rare doodah. The limber lady or the piece of broccoli you picked off of the ground, lands. Where are we going? It's not that way. Is it just around the corner here? Hopefully we don't have to fight any of the Ferrises, because we are much higher level than them. It's apparently around here. Oh, you know, I think I, find, I found out what it may be. Is the noise coming from this? It's a supply container. It looked like airdrop break it. That sound of error. Error. Oh, that makes sense. Ha, huh. nothing to be scared of at all. Can we just stop this racket? Oh, hey, wait a sec. What if you just twiddle this here? Commence the twiddles. So we pretty much can't get it at it. So we pretty much can't get at what's inside this container now. Let Bam Bam see. It's not so broken. All it needs is some elbow grease. Land, Senna, we have a job for you. We need you to dropkick this chest open. Oh, if only we had the parts, we could manage something. If only. Sim simultaneously turns towards Ouroboros. Reiterates slowly. If only we had the parts. Why, yes, we'd love to get these parts for you. Thank you for asking so nicely. Aw, you're so generous. Such magnum... Magnanimosity. Such generosity. 
Uni truly is the most generous of all Kavesi people. The part you want is the Serenity Jet. You should be able to find them easily around the old Kana battlefield. Probably. Please tell me we already have one. We already have one, don't we? That's what diligent looting gets to you people. We can just instantaneously solve quests. We've got the parts you need, but is this really enough to fix it? Yeah, that's just the ticket. Let me show you how the maintenance and development team gets it done. Spit, grit, and a whole lot of serenity engines. Oh no, a monster's attracted by sound. One tiny half-breed ferris. Once again, prolonged exposure to these idiocy con in <laughs> Once again, prolonged exposure to idiocy inconveniences us. These two should come with a warning. Oh, don't say that. They're not bad people. I didn't say they were bad people. I just said they were idiots and inconveniences. We'll take the monster. You take the container. I mean, it's just one ferris. How hard can it be? Bam Bam, no one to die. Bam Bam, no one to die. Oh, come on. Let's just get this monster whacked. It won't take that long as long as there's only one. What is it? Like level 23, 25? Auto battle, please take care of this. Just kill it in like two seconds, please. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No one wants to sit through this. And trust me, I won't make you guys sit through this. And that's goodbye, Mr. Locke. Open at will, folks. Nothing impossible for Bam Bam and friend. Prodigal researchers come developers, and sometimes mechanics. When did you get back? Alrighty, wonder what's going to be inside. Oh, I hope it's food. We haven't eaten in three days. Bam Bam hoping for a tasty sausage. Wind bracelet, warrior's armor vest, iron headband, soldier ring, affection ring, and two gemstones. The sparks this. Hid not tasty sausage. They're combat supplies. Hmm. So this actually turned out to be useful. Eh, we don't need it. How do you know? Might as well take it. It's not like we're going to be fighting. Doran right. If not eatable, not valuable. Yeah, we'll generously gift it to you. Thanks for the help. Not gonna say no if you're offering. Cheers. Good. If you can use it, then consider it a little token of our appreciation. Bam Bam in agreement. Very pleased it be useful to friends. Well, Bam Bam, I think it's time we head off on our next adventure. Let rip, friend. Man, those two. Weren't they bickering at each other like 10 minutes ago? Oh, I guess they're pretty easy going. Well, that's uh, that's what they do. They bicker and bicker and bicker. More Nopon coins and a lot of rewards and and an and, 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 a corpse to off see see off send off off send. Who knows the proper terminology? Either way. That was uh, a bunch of side quests, and I do realize that we ended with more side quests than we started with. That's a long-term one, given by the fact that it's level 57. So that's a long, a long time coming. We're not, we're not doing that right now. Look to the future if you want to do teaches teachers. Serene Melody, uh, Missing Squad. That's both more stuff for Colony 30, but we're not going to focus on them today and i did promise a bit more story next episode so that is all but certainly it for today but i do want to end it in colony lambda just to give myself a little reminder like we're doing stuff in colony lambda izzard has a request for us so we're going to start the next episode by doing izzard's little quest in colony gamma not gamma lambda and then, hopefully, hopefully the entire episode isn't taken up by Izzard's quest. But if it is, well, I can only apologize for side quest after side quest. But this is a Xenoblade game, so if you expected anything else, 
I, you, your expectations need to be altered. Either way, either way, we did some side quests. We found some Nopons. We got some rewards. Lots of accessories. More side quests. Everything has been completed. But blah, 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 blah. Everything's been completed today. It was a good episode. I'm sure you had fun because I had fun. Look at Noah. He's got a scarf. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good episode. It's a great view to end this on. So, whether you watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you next time, where we deal with Isserd's almost certainly uh, boring request. Although it may not be boring. Who knows? We'll see you. We'll, we'll find out in the next time. So, see you later. Thank you.